I was listening to the radio, kind of halfway. Yes, Mr. Wilbert. And then you saw something. Well, not first off. I heard something. There's Tucker's. John Dowdy, Johnny Dowdy giving him some instructions at quarter time. <laughs> so he's... To the bloke on the left, yeah, Johnny. He had a racehorse and whatever. He's, he was a different cat. Yeah. He gave good <laughs> advice? I don't think so. Sorry, he gave John. advice. <laughs> he gave advice. <laughs> out in the start of the first, second quarter. Sees Richard Miles under plenty of pressure, couldn't get the handball, but Moston gets the ball out and finds Leonard on that outer side. Quick kick away, finds James Lecky, take a mark and under all sorts of pressure of Wharton. And silly play by Wharton. There seemed to be the players, that, especially Jimmy, that the opposition seemed to hate, loved to hate. It was one, he was one of those sorts of players. Mm. I don't know why. It was just probably his, uh, um, probably because he was a very good player. Mm. Yeah, because he was always pinching the 50-50 ball off. Yep, him. that's right. Mm. People found it very hard to resist hitting James. Lincoln. Yeah, the Linky boys were just—they had hit me on their forehead, I reckon. They just—but mind you, they gave out plenty as well. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. they played it hard. They, yeah. Oh yeah. They weren't snipers. I mean, they just. He's a legend, isn't he? He is a legend. Heinrich, looking for leads, comes this outer side. Then be caught under it, James Linky from behind takes that third mark. I think that's the mark of the day for the Blue Boys just today. Good mark by James Linky. Yeah, he was my favourite player because he was so hard. Yes. I remember blood on his beard all the time. Yeah. yeah. They just went in hard. They went in hard, exactly. Yeah, after the footy, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. As he heads wide looking for his player, Richard Miles juggles a timely mark. Passes off and finds Peter Klein. at 15 metres out from goal, but on a very acute angle in front of the scoreboard. Peter, veteran of many games on the Tanunda Oval. Knows the Oval well and sinks another major score to see Angston go to eight goals, three leading, freeling, four goals, one. Long. Handball out by Angston, sees so Britain staring out to Peter Hine. Quick kick around, finds David Hayes on his knees in front of the grandstand position. David Hayes looking for Peter Kleine, but uh, Britain Starry chips in with a superb mark. Wobbly old screw punt, finds Leanit. Intercepted by Malloy, played allowed to go on. The ball says umpire and Michael Falkenberg handballs off to Steve Malloy. Bad handball, he said Richard Miles up, but the idea was right because Richard Miles gets one under the cuff on the ear. Players slip and slide in that forward pocket as feeling relief once again. Attempted mark by Hayes, but lean it. Kim Lehman in the hands of the erstwhile trainers and Neville Vaughan and staff. But Bruce Evans couldn't get his big fist up to spoil Zweck. We hope Kim Lehman can uh, recover. As Peter Zweck kicks a major score for Freeling. And no response from the crowd except the Freeling supporters. Be made. Kim Lehman has been brought off and replaced by Toad Smith. Tim Schmidt, a big game player too. Grant Humphreys. 
Pines Perkins who come out of the sh shadows. David Hayes gets one for his trouble from Schluter. And umpire picked him out of his gearbox as I see a weak decision like that. Umpires will lose control of this game as that was petty. Petty, petty, petty. Classic Milky commentary. <laughs> Doesn't make any mistakes, the umpire doesn't move. Nobody's ball as the ball is hit out for. David Hayes doesn't know which way to go, but Silo backs up. And here's steadiness by feeling backline player, sees the ball come around. And Silo take a superb mark. 15 yarder for Edwards kicking the ball on. Simmons, uh, vice captain. Tanabrilla coming off, coming around. Passes off. Looking for Bradley Wharton and takes a one-handed mark. Wharton sends forward. Any players up. Perkins calling the crisis. Handballs out to Richard Miles. Backs up. Superb handball. Superb football. Passes off and finds. Brendan Starrick brought down from the back pocket, the ball smothered off the boot. And the ball forced over the boundary line by the Freeland defender. Aerial ping pong as Cameron is forced out of the pack. Big Schluter. It's the ball on the quick boot, quickly looking for, for Graham. But Simo, strong as ever, comes out of that back line. Over the back of the pack. David Argent onto the ground for the first time. Michael Falkenberg doesn't grab the ball but recovers the ball, puts the pressure on. And another fine tackle by Falkenberg. Sees the ball head out the other side, only to find Collier in the way. Collier off to Schluter. Schluter back, back play. Heads off looking for full forward line player. Nugget Graham, ever dangerous in that half forward line, forever elusive. Simo has time to collect his thoughts as the ball goes down to Peter Hine. Peter Hine, every which way. And there's Deck after kicking the ball, but a superb mark, superb mark. By Peter Cameron to take the mark of the day at this stage of the game. Looked hopelessly out of position, but sticky fingers made him hold in. Wind very tricky over on that far side. <laughs> Beautiful kick off the boot. Players make a lot of position and out of bounds on the full on that. Forced to go back and have a re-kick. Sends a long kick forward, looking for Graham, and Graham takes a good mark over the back of Dak France. Graham with his left thigh heavily bandaged, passes off shortly, looking for the Zerk. Humpy dodges two elbows and runs down that outer side. Scratch McKay with one hand, but Peter Cameron recovers the better and sends the ball forward. Nobody home for, for Angston as Michael Falkenberg is decked by a hard shepherd by the Frinton counterpart. Passes off to, Michael, to Nugget Graham. Nugget Graham around on that left leg, finds Zurich. Beautiful kick off the boot. Sees the ball once again. Simo, sound as ever, playing the best man on the ground right now. Early stage of this second quarter. Looking further field, looking for Peter Cameron. Bounce favours him. Dak France forced to go back. Now Peter Cameron will be caught. Loose ball. Andrew Graham looks for leads, but short passes. And once again, Zerk is not loose on that outer side. Zerk with a long kick forward, but Simo, once again, takes another sound mark in that back line. Mm -hmm. 
post ruckman overrun the ball and the ball is forced forward. Zerk ducks the chutney. Call to play on by the umpire and another bounce to the result. Russell Galing beaten by Asher. Good hip and shoulder by Angston players. He's Johnny Both, plenty of good tackle. Steve Malloy forced to go back on, on the ball. Handball out to Lena. Lena's is decked. But within the rules is Simo. A series of handballs as uh, the crowd felt that Simo should have had a mark, a free kick, but not to be as they freeling register another goal. The replay will show you the incident with Simo. He got a hefty shove in the back that went unsighted as David Hayes runs from that through that centre bounce with a superb kick forward, looking for Kane's over, loose ball over the back of the pack. Kane's still in there battling against Asher. And umpire has another bounce down the, about 15 yard metres out from the Angston goal. around the pack on that familiar left leg and by the way you saw the There he goes, yep. Oh no, that was David Argent. Sorry. Was it? Little Walter. Dave Argent. He could really play. Oh, he's a great player. Yeah, he was on the bench. So um, he and Toad. Toad and he were on the bench, I reckon. Mm. And uh, yeah, obviously David's come on. Walter would have been pretty young at this stage. Oh yeah, he would have been... He was a tough nut too. He was. He was a good, tough little... So he and Apesty, they moved move much the same. Both left footers and yeah. swung around under their left foot. This one here was a better one. Left footer. <laughs> yeah. Walter yeah. was good. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And he got quite a few touches, David, in the second half because he, yeah. he'd come on. Of course, the Argent's one of the great Angerson names. Yep, definitely. <laughs> From the centre bounce, he's Leonard, get a quick handball out to Freeling counterpart across to Barilla. Delivers off. Perkins takes a good mark. In front of his weight and, and Schmidt. Three Angston players. David Hayes has the luxury of a bounce. Passes off. But who does he find? Nobody home. Umpire gets blocks away. Bruce Evans reads it up. Across to Peter Hine, but handballs on, puts Russell Gailey under all sorts of trouble. Dodges this way, that way, but nobody's got him. And his pink hole in the ball. Knees the all by the feeling player. Leonard clears from that back forward line for Angston's Falkenberg on the lead. Les Moston handballs across, looking for help. Richard Miles divers in the ball, backed up by Brenton Starrett. Blind handball across to Richard Miles, across to David Hayes. David Hayes breaks the tackle, kicks long, and straight, and David Hayes has boomed home one home in this second quarter. To see Angerson go to a handy break. Scoreboard reading, Angston 10 goals 5 to 7 goals 2, sees David Hayes once again in the thick of things, handball over to Richard Miles, looking for his full forward. Scratch McKay takes the kick in this time. Michael Falkenberg up for acceptance is too high and get the free kick. Michael Falkenberg. Tall lead Ruckman. Still got plenty of football left in these young legs. Lines up on that outer side flank. Senders the ball, right position. And sees David Hayes rise up above the pack. Quick hand pass, but stolen by Lena. Good shepherd by the feeling play, but sees David France. Read the ball better. Handball's off to Simo. Sport, ball sport from uh, Peter Kleining. Has Heinrich, didn't know which way to go. Tackled by Hayes. Ball kicked around quickly to Russell Galing. 
Russell Gayling onto an impossible angle, impossible goal, and sells one through with his left leg to see Angerson go 11 goals, 6 to 7 goals too. The little rut for Amingston. Dead balls. Schluter breaks the tackle. Simo. Desperation stuff. Not sparing body or limb or anything this game. Sends the ball forward. And David Hayes gets the free. Russell Galing, pardon, gets the free kick for over the shoulder by Asher. Playing in front of Angerson in this quarter. Direct contrast to the reserves game. And they're reaping the benefits of the free kicks. Russell Galing wobbles one away, plenty of Angston players up. Scratch McKay couldn't complete the mark. Beautiful kick off the boot. Cheer squad respond with a, their wife. Flag waving. <laughs> goals two. Freeling, seven goals two. Collie at centre. Centre. Has to go back. Now get handballs across. Don't know which way to go. Good pressure by Steve Malloy. One against three players. Plenty of pressure as Collier's once again pressure and David France in front of the pack takes him out. Passes on to David Hayes, bit of indecision there at the centre as balls passed around. Bruce Evans couldn't complete the mark. Soccer off the ground, sees Perkins with the run of the ball, straight run. Heads across and only to find Les Mossen in the way. A couple of players, Brenton Stark, leg. Called to play on by Stephen Malloy. And Stephen Malloy sends a boom of a kick in again, once again. And Angston registered their 13th goal. Brilliant play by Malloy and that, that uh, run down the outer side wing there, straight as an arrow. And, Kicked it straight through the middle of the high little little. Now sound Keynes. Adrenaline really pumping as they Freeling try to rake the ball away. Peter Hine playing a good game, gets a quick kick away to the centre. Russell Galing up against two players. Asher clears for Freeling, heading on that outer side looking for Graham. James Linky competes by playing in the front. Up against Bradley Wharton. It's pr plenty of pressure on him. Swings it around centre half four position. Missed by Perkins. Neil Hines there. Simo's there on the side so made a result. James Leggy breaks the pack. Heads the ball down looking for 